Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn, so today I'm going to be explaining graphs and alien motion, what they do, how they work, and yeah, let's just get into it. So basically first, I'm just going to make a simple spin transition because I need it to like have a transition in order to use the graphs, you know? So let me just do that real quick. Okay, so now that we have the transition complete, um, basically we're gonna go into, okay, so we have this spin thingy right here, and right here on the side is where the graphs are, so if they're not gonna work, they're not gonna move, unless you go right in between the keyframes. So this is the, them before a graph. As you can see, it's not smooth at all, and it's very, very, very slow. It's pretty choppy too. So, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your graphs, and then go in between the keyframes. Now, there are different types of graphs. These graphs right here, these graphs that go like this, like go, that tend to go this way to the right, those are gonna be your in graphs. But these graphs that go out like this, those are gonna be your graphs for your ending transition. So like, since this is the beginning of the transition, I'm just, you don't have to do this, but this is gonna be the beginning of like, this is gonna be like the in graph right here for the first picture, basically. It's just gonna be like your first picture like or the beginning of any transition is always going to be this type of graph right here and on your second photo your graph is always going to be this little out graph right here it's always going to it doesn't matter what the case is unless you're trying to do like some type of like weird reverse transition but this is always going to be like the kind of like like ending part of the transition graph so as you can see, it looks a lot better and smoother with a graph, and honestly, if you don't use graphs, you should definitely start. Um, I'm just going to show you a few different types today. So, when we're first thing we're going to do, this is the basic type of graph right here, just this. It's not anything fancy. It's like a slower graph, but like, it still gets the job done. But if you want like a really fast graph, then you're going to want to hold this, pull it all the way down to the bottom, take this and pull it really close to it to the point where they're either almost or are touching and then it just looks like that so it starts out fast or if you were going for a more of a, like a slow look like I said do this one but if you want to go for a smoother look what you can do is pull this down a little bit it's so like right there and then take this bottom one and make them touch like that we almost like want to make it like there's only one dot and then just like do it like this it takes a bit it's like a little it's like a bit slower but like you know it looks a lot smoother Looks like that i don't recommend that one only if you're gonna do like really really soft slow aesthetic edits but this is the one i use this one is just like the main one where you take it all the way down and then you just pull it really close and that's like the one i use all the time it works really well and same for the out graph so basically for the out graph you're gonna want to go onto it obviously and then this is like the main one for the out graph as well they're just like almost or are touching and then, or there's this one where you could just tap this and then just pull this up a little bit. This one is just like one of the more basic ones that you use for like more slowy, slowy or more slow type edits. But if you wanted to make it like go a little bit fast, you could pull all the way to the top and put them closer together. And yeah, so it looks like that. So you can either have like a really fast spin or like I said, I'm just gonna do the slow graphs where I just do them a little bit like that going to my other one i got yelled at not yelled at but like a lot of people were like coming for me because my graphs were like really bad so i searched up some new ones and figured out and experimented with them so i did that and then or you could do this one right here where it's like the slowy type and then you could have like a slow spin and yeah that is it for today's video i really hope this video helped you guys out because i've been getting tons of questions about graphs on my beginners videos and everything um and i just really hope it helped you out and give you a better understanding of what they are and what they do and yeah um, thank you guys for 16k. That means so, so much. I love you. Um, if you have any tutorial requests, comment them down below. Like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. You don't have to. And yeah, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true. I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you.